Welcome to Recap King. In this video, we will explain Al Rawabi School for Girls. This mini-series tells the story of a teenage girl who gets bullied in a prestigious high school in the Arab world. She decides to unite with other young girls suffering the same fate as her, and take revenge on their persecutors. Can she take revenge on the bullies and end it all? Or will she become even worse than them? Let's find out in Al Rawabi School for Girls. Al Rawabi started with a schoolgirl who confessed that she really liked her school, until the other students bullied her. The scene then moves to one morning, when the school bus picks up students who attend Al Rawabi School. There were already several students on the bus, one of which was Dina, a cheerful student. Not long after, Dina's close friend got into the bus. She is Mariam, a student who is known to be diligent and smart. Mariam apparently has a disharmonious relationship with two other students, Leon and Rania. Only a few moments after Mariam got on the bus, Leon immediately got into an argument with her. But luckily, their bickering didn't last long. Later, Leon chatted with Rania, telling her best friend that she had blocked the school number on her parents' cell phone, so that if she skipped class or caused trouble, the school would not be able to contact her parents. Incidentally, today Leon will be absent because she has a date with her boyfriend who is a college student. So when the bus stopped to pick up a student, Leon asked Rania, Mariam, and Dina for help to distract the bus driver. However, Mariam refused to help her. As a result, Leon decides to make a fuss by dousing Dina's uniform, and she was able to sneak off the bus. When they arrived in class, Mrs. Abir, their homeroom teacher, announces the arrival of a new student named Nof. Because of her appearance, she gets ridicule from Rukaya, one of Leon's friends. Only Dina was happy to meet Nof. Later that night, Mariam receives a video call from her boyfriend, Yazan. At first, Mariam wanted to invite Dina to join their conversation. But Yazan, who actually likes Mariam, asks her to talk privately. The next day during sports class, the students played basketball under the guidance of Mrs. Jumana. But in the middle of the match, Dina, who was on the same team as Leon, was replaced by Mariam. Leon played selfishly and didn't want to pass it to Mariam. After a while, Mrs. Jumana was angry and told her to pass the ball to Mariam. Leon reluctantly obeyed her order. She threw the ball which hit Mariam's chest so hard, causing her to groan in pain. Instead of apologizing, Leon mocked Mariam. No doubt, her childish behavior made Mrs. Jumana scold at her. After the basketball game, in the dressing room, Leon and her friends continued the bullying of Mariam. Leon deliberately pushed her own body. Mariam didn't have time to dodge, so her hand accidentally touched Leon's chest. Leon accused Mariam of sexually harassing her. Mariam of course defended herself, but she was outnumbered by the other students who defended Leon. Nof saw what was really going on, but she was speechless. After that, in the schoolyard, Dina approached Mariam and asked about the truth of the sexual harassment that Mariam had done to Leon. Of course Mariam denied it, and Dina believed her. Dina also told Mariam that based on the information she had obtained, Leon would be truant again to go on a date with her boyfriend. And it was an opportunity for Mariam to snitch Leon to the principal, Mrs. Fodden. As a result, Leon was called to Mrs. Fodden. But Mrs. Fodden, who respected Leon's father's authority, only gave her a light rebuke. Without wasting time, Leon gathered Rania and Rukaya in the restroom to discuss the person who snitched at Mrs. Fodden. She also forced a janitor, Sumaya, to tell her the identity of the person who reported her. Afraid of being fired, Sumaya tells Leon what she wanted. When Mariam was about to go home, Leon and Rukaya intercepted her and beat her, while Rania watched the situation from a distance. Leon was so angry that she hit Mariam's head to the ground. Mariam fainted, and her head gushed blood. Realizing that they could get into trouble because of this, Rania asked Leon and Rukaya to run away from the crime scene. Not long after, Nof came to Mariam's aid and called an ambulance. Leon and her two friends were then interrogated by the investigator, but they all refused to admit what they had done. Rania even threatened Nof, who knew the truth, not to reveal their actions. Worse yet, Mrs. Fatten was worried that if Mariam told the investigator the truth, Leon's father would close the Al Rawabi school. So when it was Mariam's turn to be questioned, Mrs. Fatten accompanies Mariam, indirectly putting pressure on Mariam to remain silent. But then, Mrs. Fatten and the investigator gathered all the students involved and their parents to find the perpetrator. The investigator asked the perpetrators to confess their actions. If no one confesses, the investigator threatens. Sooner or later she will find out the perpetrator's identity by checking the CCTV footage. 
Worried, Leon finally confessed, even though she argued that what she did to Mariam was revenge for the abuse Mariam had done to her. Her lie was supported by Rania and Rukaya who gave false testimony. As a result, almost all the students in the room sympathized with Leon, only Dina defended Mariam. But Dina's defense was not enough to undermine Leon's popularity. Finally, Mrs. Fadden decided to suspend Mariam from school for two weeks. Before Mariam left, she urged Nof to tell the truth, because only Nof knew what was really going on. But Nof remained silent because she was helpless. Embarrassed and disappointed by her daughter's behavior, Mariam's mother was so angry that she tore up Mariam's pictures in her room. She could only calm down after her husband came. Feeling helpless, Mariam could only cry alone. But then, hatred started to grow inside her. She decided to fight back against the bullies. A few days later, Mariam told a psychiatrist about her desire to take revenge on her bullies. It was at this time that it was discovered that Mariam had a hard time controlling her anger. Then, the psychiatrist advised Mariam to regularly take sedative pills rather than pouring out her anger in a diary. That evening, restless that Dina had not replied to her messages, Mariam went back to writing in her diary. The next morning, Mrs. Jumana gave the students a brochure to select the two best students in soccer. The selected student will join the national team. Leon prefers if she is chosen with Rania rather than with Rukaya. Her words of course irritated Rukaya. Meanwhile, Mariam returns to school after her suspension period is over. But somehow, Dina seemed to avoid her. Turns out, it was because Dina thought Mariam was dating Yazan. She was annoyed that Mariam didn't tell her about it. Even though Mariam wasn't actually dating Yazan, she couldn't do anything to convince Dina. In class, Leon and her friends are still not tired of bullying Mariam, and Nof, as usual, just silently watched their actions. Furious, Mariam went to the restroom to take a sedative pill. It was also there that she thought of a plan of revenge against Leon and her friends. Then she activated the fire alarm, prompting the teachers to immediately evacuate the students to the school grounds. It turns out that Mariam has hijacked the speakers at school. So when the students had gathered in the courtyard, she turned on the speaker, and there was a conversation between Leon, Rania, and Rukaya, making fun of Mrs. Abir in their group chat. It appears that there is a mysterious person who helped Mariam to steal the cell phone belonging to one of the trios of bullies. Most likely, Mariam's ally was Sumaya. After that, Mrs. Abir punishes Leon and her two friends to be janitors for the rest of the semester. Mariam smiled with satisfaction seeing her three bullies punished. The initial steps of her revenge plan went well. Moments later, Nof came and made small talk with Mariam. But because she is still mad at Nof, Mariam calls her a coward. Her attempts to approach Mariam fail. Therefore, Nof goes alone in the toilet and remembers her past. It turns out that Nof was expelled from her old school for leaking exam questions to students. Long story short, all senior students were gathered in the auditorium to hear the experiences of an alumni, and wanted to do a little play about bullying. She then asked for two volunteers to play the role of the bully and the victim. Thus, Mrs. Abir nominated Leon to play the victim. Leon confidently came forward to the stage. But then, no one dared to play the bully, except for Nof, who wanted to prove to Mariam that she isn't a coward. They started the play on the stage. Nof took the bullying role seriously, causing Leon to be a bit provoked. But unfortunately, when the atmosphere became tense, the alumni quickly separated them. After this, Mrs. Fotten also freed Leon and her two friends from their punishment. During gym time, Nof again approached Mariam to tell her why she had always been silent whenever Mariam got into trouble. That's because Nof can become a student of Al-Rawabi with one condition. That is if Nof made a mistake, Mrs. Fotten will not hesitate to immediately expel her, and she will no longer be able to apply to other schools. Nof also tells Mariam that she is a hacker. She can hack the security system and access any information in the school. That's why she was expelled from her old school. While they were having fun chatting, Mrs. Jumana asked Mariam to take the penalty kick and Leon would be the goalkeeper. Mariam took the opportunity to take revenge by kicking the ball right to Leon's face, making her furious. Leon then pushed Mariam and snapped at her, forcing Mrs. Jumana to intervene and separate them before a fight broke out. After that, in the dressing room, Leon, Rania, and Rukaya discussed who had toyed with them and got them punished. Their suspicion fell on Nof, because she dared to embarrass Leon on stage. What's more, she is the only student who knows of their crimes. To get information from Nof, they harass a junior who is none other than Nof's younger sister. Rukaya took the inhaler belonging to Nof's sister who suffers from asthma. 
seeing her sister being treated in such a way, Nof immediately tried to save her. Leon and Rania finally release Nof's sister after they are convinced that Nof is not the thief. That night, Nof goes to Marion's house to invite Marion to work together to take revenge and teach Leon and her friends a lesson. Nof didn't know that Mariam herself had made big plans for Leon and the people who protected her. The students were gathered to watch the eating contest between Dina and another student. Leon, Rania, and Rukaya deliberately recorded the two of them, and then uploaded it to social media. Neither of them realized that they had been humiliated. Shortly after, Mariam and Nof arrived. Unable to accept Dina's humiliation, Mariam tries to stop their action, but Nof forbids her because it's not the right time. In the end, Dina won the eating contest. After the crowd dispersed, Mariam confronted Dina and said that she had been humiliated. But Dina didn't care, and instead quipped Mariam who she thought already had a new friend, Nof. Mariam continues to reassure Dina, but Dina leaves her. After class, the school organizes a charity event, where students will welcome guests from other schools. The students then dressed up in the locker room, and changed their uniforms to the casual outfits they had prepared. At this time, Leon and Rania were talking about their respective boyfriends, while Rukaya brought up a man she had just met on Facebook. Rukaya thinks the guy is nice, even though they have never met. And when Rukaya showed them the man's photo, the photo was so dark that the man's face could not be seen clearly. While the three of them were talking, Mariam looked at them as if she was up to something. In one toilet cubicle, Dina has difficulty changing clothes. It was only after much effort that she could put on clothes. When she came out of the room, Leon called her because she saw something in Dina's pants. With the pretext of wanting to clean Dina's pants, Rukaya smeared Dina's pants with red stains, while Leon took her picture from behind. The innocent Dina didn't notice it at all. She just walked away. After that, Leon uploaded a photo of Dina to social media. As a result, Dina became the laughing stock of the students. Dina herself finally realized the photo Leon had uploaded. Embarrassed, she went to find a quiet place and cried alone. Not long after, Mariam appeared and calmed Dina down. She also advised Dina that Leon is not worthy of being a friend. Dina agreed with her, and she regretted what she had done. Actually, Dina approached Leon just because she wanted to gain popularity. But instead of becoming popular, she ends up being humiliated. Luckily Mariam still considers Dina her friend, and they eventually make up. Meanwhile, Nof was asked to be the receptionist, for which all guests had to wear bracelets. Moments later, Marianne came over to Nof and said that she, Nof, and Dina were going to put the plan into action. However, Nof was offended that Mariam invited Dina without her knowing. According to Nof, Dina will only bring them trouble. But Nof had to accept Dina in the end after Mariam kept persuading her. After Nof left, Yazan and his friends came. Yazan asked Mariam to spend time with him during the event. But Mariam refused his invitation because she had something more important to do, namely revenge. The event started in the evening, supervised by Ms. Abir. While the students are having fun, Nof is seduced by a man named Ahmed, who is none other than Rania's boyfriend. Rania suddenly approached them and took Ahmed away to talk. After completing her duties as a welcome officer, Nof came to Mariam and Dina at the base they had prepared, and the three of them began to take the first step of their plan. It turned out that Tarek, the man who chatted with Rukai on Facebook, was just a fictitious person created by Nof and Mariam. That means, Rukaya will be their target tonight. When Leon was about to sing on stage, Rania introduced Ahmed to Rukaya. But, it was clear that Rukaya was not happy. After Leon finished singing, Leon and Rania went to a rest area under a tree with their respective boyfriends. Only Rukaya is alone. Thus, she only interacted with Tarek through her cell phone while Leon and Rania chatted directly with their boyfriends. As if that wasn't enough, Rukaya was also asked to fetch food and drinks by her two friends like a waitress. But it was part of Nof and Mariam's plan to separate Rukaya from Leon and Rania. After that, they had to slow down Rukaya, and this was where Dina started to do her job. She accidentally dropped the drink that Rukaya was carrying, making Rukaya clothes dirty and wet. Practically, Rukaya was angry with what Dina had done. Then, it was Nof's turn. She tells Ms. Abir about the couples having fun at the rest area. She immediately went to the location Nof mentioned, where she found Leon and Rania and their boyfriend. But unfortunately, she didn't see their faces as they fled quickly. The four of them then enter the school, leaving Rukaya disappointed at being abandoned. Rukaya had contacted them, but since they didn't pick up the phone, she looked for them inside the school. When Rukaya found them, she immediately took her anger out on them. 
They argued for a while, before Rukaya left in annoyance. Just as Rukaya was leaving, Dina took a picture of the four of them. Outside, Rukaya tells about Leon and Rania's annoying behavior to Tarek, before she finally asks for a photo of Tarek's face. Nof sent a link with a photo of a man, hoping that Rukaya would click on the link so she could hack Rukaya's phone. Rukaya got into the trap. She clicked on the link and a photo of a man she thought was Tarek appeared. She had no idea that by clicking the link, Nof could now access her Facebook account. After that, Nof and her friends asked Rukaya to send a photo of her without wearing a hijab. Rukaya is willing to do it. She even went to the toilet and removed her hijab, though she later hesitated because she suspected Tarek as a fake account created to trick her. This is where Dina brings out her hidden talent. She convinces Rukaya that Tarek is a real man by sending her a bunch of bullshit. Rukaya innocently fell for Dina's trick. She took a selfie without wearing a hijab. Then, she proudly sent her photo to Tarek, feeling that she had proven that Rania's accusation that she was old-fashioned was wrong. Nof, Mariam, and Dina laughed happily. Now they just need to take one more step, which is to upload photos of Rukaya on her Facebook account. Not long after, Rania and Leon saw uploaded photos of Rukaya. Meanwhile, Rukaya, after she came out of the toilet, immediately received cynical looks from the people around her. Curious, she checked her cell phone, and was surprised to find that there were photos of her without a hijab on her Facebook account. It was made worse by hurtful comments on her photos. A few moments later, Rania and Leon came and took Rukaya away. The event ended as Mrs. Abir tells the people to leave. Rukaya was picked up by her mother who felt disappointed with the school, decided to tell Mrs. Fadden and Mrs. Abir that Rukaya quit the school. The next day, Mrs. Abir distributed the forms to the students who were going to join the field trip. They must return the form before the weekend. Rania asked for one more form for Rukaya, not knowing that Rukaya had quit school. The students were surprised to learn about Rukaya, Leon was no exception. In the schoolyard, Rania and Leon tried to contact Rukaya, but Rukaya did not answer their phone calls. Therefore, Leon plans to find out everything about Tarek. Meanwhile, Dina feels guilty for trapping Rukaya in such a way. But Nof and Mariam calm her down, arguing that Rukaya deserves it. Then, Mariam realized that Leon sent a threatening message to Tarek's account. Mariam and Nof replied to the message with threats as well, saying that Leon will be the next target. But Dina doubts that their plan to destroy Leon will work. Mariam, on the other hand, still believed in their plan, thinking that Dina was too weak and she shouldn't have joined in. While she was waiting in line at the cafeteria, Nof got a notification that Ahmed followed her on Instagram, so Nof followed Ahmed back. It practically made Rania jealous. She goes to Nof and yells at her, though Nof feels she didn't do anything wrong by following Ahmed back. An argument ensued between them, and Rania ended it by slamming Nof's cell phone before walking away. Then, it was Mariam's turn to question Nof. Fed up with something that didn't really matter, Nof left. Her actions were followed by Mariam and Dina ended up being left alone. At the end of practice, Mrs. Jamana announced the names of two students who will enter the national team. The first is Rania, and the second is Mariam. Couldn't accept Mrs. Jumana, Leon protested Mrs. Jumana. She also didn't forget to make fun of Mariam in front of everyone. Her protests, however, were ignored by Mrs. Jumana, then told all the students to leave except Mariam. She assures Mariam that her choice is not wrong, she believes that Mariam has the ability. In the dressing room, Leon saw Mariam sitting alone, taking medicine. When Mariam went to take a shower, Leon took advantage of her absence to check her bag. It turned out that what Mariam was drinking is a sedative. No doubt, Leon immediately took pictures of the drug to be shared with other students. Not only medicine, Leon also finds Mariam's diary which contains her feelings when she feels emotional. Of course she read it. She even photocopied it. After that, she told her friends to distribute copies of Mariam's diary to the other students. The result was predictable. Mariam is now the subject of ridicule from students who call Mariam a psychopath. Unable to bear the humiliation she received, Mariam entered the restroom to be alone. But there, she found copies of her diary taped to the wall, making her even sadder. As if she was still not satisfied, Leon read Mariam's diary in front of her friends in the restroom. In the diary, Mariam wrote about her hatred of being forced to see a psychiatrist, and how the sedative pills dampened her desire to kill everyone. Leon and her friends ended their bullying on Mariam by making fun of her who was still crying, and throwing tissues at her. Satisfied, they left the restroom, although Leon felt obliged to kick the cubicle door before she left. 
Mario misses the next lesson, much to Dina and Nof's dismay. After class was over, the two of them came to Mariam who was still locking herself in the toilet. They then apologized to Mariam for leaving her alone. But Mariam has lost hope, and she chooses to abandon her revenge plan against Leon and Rania. She would even ask her mother to be allowed to change schools. After school, Leon and Rania visited Rukaya at her house, but Rukaya's mother kicked them out. Rukaya sees all that, and she questions why her mother kicked out Leon and Rania. But her mother replied that it was for her own good. Nof received different treatment when she visited Dina's house. Dina greeted Nof warmly, and immediately led her into a big house. Then they discussed their plans to prevent Mariam from transferring schools, as well as their plans for revenge. Incidentally, Dina had devised a new plan that took even Nof by surprise. But first, they had to discuss it with Mariam. At her house, Mariam was about to tell her mother about her intention to change schools. But before Mariam could speak, Nof texted her asking her to come to Dina's house immediately because Dina is sick. So, instead of conveying her intention to change schools, Mariam asked her mother for permission to visit Dina. Arriving at Dina's house, Mariam finally realized that Dina is fine. Nof immediately persuaded Mariam to carry out the new plan that Dina had prepared. Unexpectedly, Mariam regained her spirits after being persuaded by Nof. Afterwards, Dina told Mariam that she and Nof had pulled copies of Mariam's diary from the school walls. What's more, Nof has retrieved Mariam's original diary from Leon. Their discussion finally began. Dina and Nof have received information that during their field trip, Leon and Rania will sneak out of their room at night to meet their boyfriend at a nightclub. It would be a golden opportunity for the three of them to take revenge. But before they could do so, they had to do some preparations. Using Tarek's account, Nof then sent Leon and Rania a photo of them with their boyfriend at a charity event at school. And when Leon clicked on the photo, Nof easily hacked Leon's phone. Nof and the others rejoiced that their initial move had been successful, while Leon and Rania became anxious because they felt like they were being watched by Tarek. On the day of the field trip, Leon and her brother Hazim picked up Rania at the pickup point. But on the way, Leon accidentally opened the glove compartment where she found a gun. Surprised, Leon then asked why Hazim had a gun, but Hazim argued that he already had a firearms license. Hazim himself really cares about Leon. When they arrived at the bus pickup point, he reminded Leon to always be alert. Shortly after the bus left, Mariam, Nof, and Dina immediately spied on Leon's digital activities. They can easily find out all messages sent and received by the service. While in the back seat, Rania and Leon questioned who the person who sent them the photo was. Rania suspects Rukaya is the culprit, because according to her, Rukaya is jealous that they care more about their boyfriend. Long story short, they arrived at their destination. But Nof was surprised when Mrs. Abir announces the arrangement of the students' rooms, as she shares a room with Leon and Rania. Apparently, Mariam was the one responsible for it. She wanted Nof to be their spy. Thinking Mariam had acted selfishly, Nof left Mariam and Dina, then entered her room and met her two roommates. There was a quarrel between them. But in the end, they agreed to just mind their own business. A few hours later, Mariam, Dina, and Nof were back together by the pool. But their togetherness didn't last long. Because Nof doesn't like crowds, she separates from Mariam and Dina. At the same time, Leon also parted with Rania. Coincidentally, Leon and Nof chose the same place to spend time alone. At first, they had an argument, but because of an agreement not to disturb each other, they swam in the same pool far apart. However, while Nof was lost in thought, a dirty old man approached and seduced her. It was at this moment that the unexpected occurred. Leon defends Nof and scolds the rude old man. Not only that, Leon patiently calmed Nof who was crying in fear. Not long after, Mrs. Abir comes and asks what has happened to them. Leon tells her what the old man did, but Nof chooses to lie by saying everything is fine. She didn't want to complicate matters for fear that her friends would hate her. Unable to accept Nof's decision, Leon left her. After that, Nof rejoined Mariam and Dina. Seeing Nof's depressed expression, Mariam thought Leon had done something wrong to Nof. Because she didn't want to make a fuss, and also because she was still traumatized, Nof left without explaining her bad experience. Nof's change in attitude surprised Mariam and Dina. While Nof was alone in the room, Leon and Rania came in. The situation in the room became very awkward. Nof and Leon were completely silent. Leon then sent a message to her boyfriend, Leith, telling him that she and Rania would meet Leith and Ahmed at half past 11 in the evening. Leon doesn't know that Mariam read her message with Leith. 
Immediately, Mariam asked Nof to find out more about Leon and Laith's meeting. But Nof has changed her mind after Leon saved her. So she decided to turn off Mariam's connection, making Mariam no longer able to peek at Leon's digital tracks. At dinner, Mariam went back to discussing their plans. She asks Nof where Leon and Rania will meet their boyfriend. But Nof instead advises Mariam, asking her to rethink her revenge plan. It would be better if Mariam made peace and had a nice talk with Leon and Rania. Mariam became increasingly convinced that Leon and Rania had brainwashed Nof. Then, as usual, they argued and bickered. And after the fight, Nof went back to her room. There, she found Leon and Rania doing makeup. Out of curiosity, Nof then asked where they were going. But Rania replied curtly, saying that where they were going was none of her business. Rania's words made Leon feel bad for Nof, so she invited Nof to join them. Rania certainly protested Leon's decision. But she withdrew her rebuttal after Leon told her about the incident that happened to Nof this afternoon. After tricking Mrs. Abir and Mrs. Jamana who was in charge of checking each student's room, Leon, Nof, and Rania went secretly to a nightclub. There, they had fun, except for Nof, who didn't like crowds. While at the hotel, Mariam and Dina discuss the continuation of their revenge plan. Then Dina proposes that they meet Nof, but since Mariam doesn't want to, Dina ends up going alone into Nof's room, where she is surprised to find that Nof came with Leon and Rania without them knowing. Without wasting any time, Dina immediately went to report it to Mariam. At the same time, Mariam was telling Mrs. Abir regarding Rania and Leon's disappearance. At the nightclub, Ahmed begins to seduce Nof. He even dared to touch her. She clearly doesn't like Ahmed's flirtation. She grabbed Ahmed's arm to prevent him from touching her, but as a result, Rania who had just returned from the restroom, thought they were holding hands. Rania immediately confronted Ahmed and Nof, but Ahmed refused to admit that he was seducing Nof. On the other hand, Nof could not convince Rania that she was innocent. She could only look at Leon, asking for her help. But Leon could do nothing but ask Nof to leave. Moments later, Mrs. Abir and Mrs. Jumana enters the nightclub to look for Leon and the others. Leon herself is currently in the restroom with Nof. Nof then asked why Leon didn't defend her just now. It turned out that Leon was still annoyed that Nof let the dirty old men go just like that after he tried to harass her. Their conversation was interrupted by a message from Mariam, telling Nof that Mrs. Abir and Mrs. Jumana is looking for the three of them. Nof then told Leon, and they went to find Rania. But they were too late, Mrs. Abir and Mrs. Jumana have found Rania. Things got even more unfavorable for Rania after Ahmed left her without helping her deal with the two teachers. Rania let herself be caught. She confessed to the teachers that she was just going alone, while she motioned for Leon and Nof to hurry back to the hotel. When Mrs. Abir returns to hotel and knocks on Leon's room, Leon and Nof have returned to their room. Leon reasons that previously they were not in the room because they were looking for Rania. After the teachers left, Nof found Mariam watching her from a distance. A week after the field trip, Rania returned to school with bruises showing on her face. As soon as she found out about Rania's behavior during the field trip, Rania's drunken father slapped her. Even so, Mariam still wanted to continue her revenge plan. She wasn't satisfied with just seeing the bruises on Rania's face. For the sake of her plan, she even ignored Dina and Nof who had backed away from revenge. In the restroom, Leon treats the wound on Rania's face while telling her that she will meet Leith again tomorrow at his private house. Rania disapproves of Leon's plan, as she is worried that after what she and Rukaya got, something even worse will happen to Leon if she gets caught by her family. But Leon remained stubborn, saying that she had prepared everything to keep her safe. Leon did not know that behind the toilet cubicle, Mariam overheard their conversation. At lunch, Mariam ate alone. Accompanied by Dina, Nof thanks Rania for not telling Mrs. Abir on the field trip. Rania welcomed Nof's thanks. After all that happened, she finally realized that Nof was right. Ahmed is an asshole. The four of them then had lunch together, while Mariam stared at them hatefully. That evening, Mariam began to carry out the first stage of her plan. She checked Leith's Instagram, where later she found a photo of Leith at his private home. And in the photo, he also includes the location of his house. After saving Leith's home address, Mariam looked for more information about Leith, and how surprised she was when she found it. Meanwhile, at Leon's house, she talked to Leith when her younger brother suddenly entered her room looking for his cell phone charger. Leon then complained to her father about the behavior of her younger brother who entered her room without knocking. But her older brother, Hazim, thinks a 17-year-old girl like Leon doesn't need privacy yet. Moreover, Hazim felt that it was not time for Leon to have a boyfriend. 
The next day, on the day Alverwabi was hosting the National School Conference, Laith and Leon set out for Laith's private house located near the airport. Meanwhile in class, Mrs. Abir asks Rania about Leon's absence. Rania lied by claiming she didn't know anything, but when Mrs. Abir asks Mariam, she replies casually that maybe Leon is truant. After that, Mariam quietly operated her cell phone. Turns out she already got Hazim's contact number. From her desk, Dina watched Mariam, although she didn't know what Mariam was doing with her cell phone. At the National School Conference, Mrs. Fatin plans to receive an award for Al Rawabi's achievements during her tenure. Mariam used that excuse to congratulate Mrs. Fatin during recess. Dina, who was watching from a distance, noticed something strange about Mariam. Worried that Mariam was planning to continue her revenge, she told Nof. Then, they confront Mariam, where Nof warns her that her plan will end badly. But she ignored their warnings, saying that weak people and traitors shouldn't interfere in her business. In the principal's office, Mrs. Abir reports Leon's absence to Mrs. Fodden. Nonchalantly, Mrs. Fodden replied that she would take care of it after the conference was over. In other words, after she received the award. But apparently, Ms. Abir is fed up with her. When Mrs. Fodden and all the teachers attended the event, Mrs. Abir sneaks into the principal's office to find the contact numbers for Leon's parents. After finding it, she immediately dialed the number. But the call couldn't connect because Leon had blocked the school number on her parents' cell phone. But then, Mrs. Abir finds Leon's parents' home phone number, and she dials the number right away. This time the phone was connected. It was Leon's father who answered. In the toilet, Rania was looking at photos of her and Ahmed, when she later found something odd about the photo sent by Tariq. After she looked carefully, she found Dina's reflection in the photo. She immediately confronts Dina and Nof and blames them for ruining Rukaya's life. But Nof justified their actions because they had been bullied all this time, so it was only natural that they would retaliate against Rukaya. For the next few moments, they argued with each other, before finally, Nof reminded them that they had more important things to do right now. This is where Nof and Dina tell Rania about Mariam planning to destroy Leon's life. Hastily, Rania looked for Mariam when she saw Leon's family had arrived at the school after Mrs. Sabir summoned them. The family then met Mrs. Sabir in the principal's office, where she explained to them about Leon's absence today. Leon's mother was surprised because in the morning, she saw Leon getting on the bus. Mrs. Sabir continued her explanation, saying that this is not the first time Leon has skipped school. Leon's father, mother, and brother were both worried and surprised to hear that, while the person they were talking about right now was having fun with Leith. In class, Mariam sends Leon's location to Hazim, as well as a message informing him that Leon is with her boyfriend. Mariam only had to press the send button, and she could destroy Leon's life. But suddenly, she had doubts. She thought about how the bullying Leon and her friends had done had made her a hate-ridden girl, as if all of Mariam's good sides had been lost by that hatred. While Mariam was lost in her thoughts, Nof, Rania, and Dina entered the classroom. They asked Mariam to abandon the plan. Hearing their request made Mariam angry again. She did not expect that Dina and Nof dared to betray her further by revealing her plan to Rania. Rania kept begging Mariam, but Mariam ignored them. Without any hesitation, she sent the location of Leon to Hazim before exiting the classroom. In the principal's office, Leon's father expressed his disappointment to Mrs. Fatin who let a student play truant. After a while, Mariam's message arrived on Hazim's cell phone. Without explaining the contents of the message to his parents, he rushed to Leon's location. Carrying his gun, Hazim banged on Laith's door, surprising Leon and Laith inside. Since the door wouldn't open, Hazim turned around the house and found Leon's clothes drying because they were wet from swimming. But Hazim probably thought Leon had misbehaved. While at school, Leon's father lashes out at Mrs. Fodden. Mrs. Fodden herself had just finished attending a conference and received an award, but Leon's father angrily slammed the award plaque down. If anything happened to Leon, he said, Mrs. Fodden must take responsibility, and he will close the school. After Leon's parents left, Mrs. Fodden scolded Mrs. Abir who had called Leon's parents behind her back. On the other hand, seeing her plan going smoothly, Mariam smiled with satisfaction. At Leith's house, Hazim finally managed to get in by breaking down the door. Seeing Leon together with Leith, Hazim beat Leith hard before pointing his gun. He said Leon had humiliated their family by having an illicit relationship with Leith. Azim himself cared deeply about the family's reputation, and he was willing to do anything to defend the honor of the family, even if he had to kill Leon.
Hazim's finger was already on the trigger, ready to pull it, even though Leon was sobbing in front of him. The scene then switches to showing drying clothes outside, before a gunshot is heard. After that, a flashback of when Leon and Laith were driving happily appeared. Mrs. Fodden seems to be sitting dreamily in her office. On her desk, there was a photo of her together with Laith, indicating that Laith is her son. In the end, Mariam walks proudly, she clearly doesn't regret what she did. The moral this time is, that bullying is unacceptable, no matter the reason. If someone commits bullying, or any form of crime, that person is bound to suffer the consequences sooner or later, especially if they mess with the wrong people, like Mariam.